If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die uh, today, if I die yeah. today. Cold flows for a cold mind, see a new world, but I'm so blind. Kick rocks when your time's up, better start digging like a cold mind. Cold heart, seen cold times, it's a bold move, but the sunshine raise up. When Good morning, Cardano Army. It's your boy Boomin coming at you with yet another video, guys. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that notification bell so you never miss a Boomin update. Got my hot tea and honey locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started, guys. So, we got some rapid fire updates here from the Cardano ecosystem. Now, uh, the biggest one here is Claymates, they are integrating with Sandbox Game. Which is pretty cool. They got a cool little video here, which we'll take a look at soon. Enter the Sandbox. Clay Nation will become the first Cardano project to be integrated with Sandbox Game, pushing interoperability further in Web3. The experience will be created in collaboration with uh, Mobler Studios. Stay tuned for more. Let's take a look at this short video real quick. That's pretty awesome, guys. Shout out to Sandbox, um, and shout out to Claymation, Clay Nation, um, Cardano partner with Clay Nation. Um, Clay Nation is was created by Snoop Dogg's son, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they had Charles Hoskinson in and on it. They did a music video together. It was awesome. So shout out to them. That was probably the biggest news in Cardano. Next up, <clears throat> we got MinSwap reaching a 12 month high in volume. Shout out to them. They are probably the best, <laughs> um, the best decks on Cardano right now. Uh, so many features, uh, just amazing. My favorite feature is their Zap feature where you could take any native token or anything like that and automatically uh, uh, grab some liquidity from their decks by zapping in. Clean looking, I love it. Uh, lots of farming options as well. <clears throat> TVL is, TVL continues to grow. Um, volume is up, a lot of good things here. Take a look at the farms again real quick. I, you know, guys, after the whole Celsius thing, you know, I, I know that this is decentralized, but I'm, I'm going to get back into it. I'm going to get back into, um, you know, providing liquidity, becoming a liquidity provider and I'm getting these sweet, sweet rewards, but I've been scarred by Celsius. So, <laughs> um, but these, these APRs do look good. Um, ADA and AGIX, you get about 53% on your liquidity here. Uh, Liquid, about 41%. Shout out to Liquid Finance. Um, so some pretty good APRs, if I do say so myself. Um, what's the highest one here? Let's see. Whoa, 120 percent APR here ADA and AWU token I don't know what AWU is but uh, let's actually take a look what the heck is this unofficial the official unbothered wolves token okay so some pretty decent APRs here you got 95 percent here for ADA and lobster token <laughs> that's pretty cool so shout out to men swap continue to work hard continue to chop and then uh, finally, we have uh, this discussion about L2. Shout out to Sebastian Gilmont, CTO of, of uh, DC Spark and Milk Amada. Coinbase announced base of L2, a new L2, layer 2 solution. L2s con con continue to dominate the industry. 
Almost all transactions in, car in crypto are on L2s. Almost all TVL in crypto are on L2s. More devs are working on L2s than basically every L1. Side chains, which are L2s, are a waste of time. If you hear someone say that L2s don't have good enough UX for adoption, clearly they stopped paying attention to blockchains in 2022, in 2020, and it's time to look elsewhere for a roadmap vision. So it's pretty cool, guys. Let's go ahead and move on. All right, so Charles did another AMA, and he provides a update on CoinDesk. Apparently, uh, he can't really talk too much about it, uh, but he did say that the deal is unlikely to take place, which is sad to me. Um, you know, that would be so cool to have Charles Hoskinson own CoinDesk. Um, but, you know, it was a pipe dream to begin with, especially with all the um, animosity and, <laughs> you know, we've complained a number of times about CoinDesk being biased against Cardano, especially Cardano. I don't know why they have a bone to pick with Cardano. Like, you know, they always underreport. They always, you know, <clears throat> they'll talk about other scam coins like Solana, which shut down again, by the way. It had to reboot itself yet again. Haven't been hearing a lot about that on Twitter. I wonder why. Anyway. So, you know, it's, it's kind of sad, but uh, he did say the much talked about deal was unlikely to take place. I don't think I'm going to acquire it, but we'll see where that process goes. And then apparently there were some rumors about Charles buying CNN. Like, why the hell would he buy, buy CNN? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> like, we're trying to stop mainstream media, not co-opt them. Um... I mean, I don't. I I wouldn't know how to feel if he bought CNN. Another thing is, if CNN is so great, which they're not, why are they up for sale? Like, oh boy. Anyway, uh, so Hoskinson refuted ludicrous rumors about acquiring the American media behemoth CNN. He says he has no interest in traditional broadcast media. So yeah. That's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and move on, guys. And I hate saying I hate saying I told you so. I hate doing it. Actually, I don't. I love it. And I'm going to continue to do it. This whole bull run, guys. I'm going to be obnoxious. I'm just letting y'all know that. Like, when the bull run comes back and VChain starts rising and the people start crawling back to the channel trying to get this VChain news, guess what? I'm going to be obnoxious as hell. I'm going to be like, I told you so. I'm going, I'm going to be on one. I'm going to be on one, and uh, a lot of y'all ain't going to like it. I don't care. Uh, but I hate to say I told you so. <clears throat> 8X Pro is officially rug pulled, y'all. And uh, I made a video about this about a year ago, more than a year ago. They sent their bots after my channel. They, they mass downvoted a lot of my videos, screwed up my algorithm. And that's okay, you know. That's okay. I told y'all not to buy ADAX. Some of y'all listened. Some of y'all didn't. Um, but apparently, you know, the, the unpaid intern hacked into their Twitter <laughs> and started posting T. So here's what they posted. ADAX 2023 achievements. Unpaid employees, four. Number of known employees on ADAX payroll, three. Number of times mods have requested to wait patiently, 104. Technical difficulty, zero. Known technical staff, zero. Q1 roadmap completeness of vision, zero. So, uh, yeah. Um, a lot of people in ADAX, um, they, uh, they, they still can't withdraw their funds. Um, Guys, I'm sorry if you got burned by ADAX, but can't say it was Boomin's fault. Boomin done told y'all, and, uh, you know, it's just live, let, learn. You know, it happens. It's going to pick yourself up. I've lost a ton of money in crypto, and, you know, I'm still here, so, you know, it's a long game. 
number of controlled Twitter accounts, zero, number of controlled email accounts, zero, successful leadership or reorganization, zero, number of actual feedbacks given, zero, number of Fs given, zero. So, yeah. Um, sorry to everybody who lost money on ADAX and, uh, you know, you'll recoup it. You just got to stay in the crypto game. All right, guys. I'd like to give a shout out to OneCom, ticker symbol 1COMM. Guys, you know the drill. Delegate your crypto to OneCom now. All right, 0% fees to at least the end of June 2023 for all existing new delegators. Follow OneCom on Twitter for news and notes. Let's keep Cardano decentralized. I'm booming. I'll talk to you guys later with the VeChain and Cardano updates. Keep chopping. Bye. Thank you so much, VeChain and Cardano Army, for your amazing Patreon support, guys. I'd like to give a shout out to Maryland for Crypto, Anthony Andrews, Farouz Dan, Kyle Bachi, CryptoSVT.si, Angeltopia, DNC Vale, Leon Jackson the Second, Kragen, All Flare LLC, Lucky Sunshine Token, and VET Docky. I hope you enjoyed the show, guys, and I'll be back with another video soon.